put the, ho the, the calls on hold because we're closing up here on Ask Huda. Um, care to, to comment on Dr. Salah's comment? Sure. Uh, as Sheikh Salah rightly said, that there are different opinions as far as the Naqab is further on. And I do agree with him totally. There are different opinions, and I do agree with him, as you said earlier, the most of the fuqahs. They say that it is not fard, but uh, it is most uh, recommended. But there are quite a few scholars, or quite uh, few but large numbers. Few doesn't mean few, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the number they are large, who do say that very naqab is fard. And, and each of these two groups of scholars have given their reasoning. And as a person, as a Muslim, we analyze the reasoning. And what we feel is more close to Quran Sunnah, we give the word. And as Sheikh Salar, he, he feels that wearing the naqab fard is the more appropriate based on Quran and Sunnah. And when I read the reasoning of both these group of scholars, I agree with uh, Sheikh Nasir Dalbani. Not because he's Sheikh Nasir Dalbani, his reasoning. And in his book, he has given more than 20 reasoning, True. reasons why Naqab is not fard. I myself could refute many of them, but I don't think it is correct. That it is, you know, like, uh, I, because I'm a debater. So whenever I give answer, I punch holes in my own answer. Mm. Out of them, there are at least seven, which I feel are irrefutable. And mm. if you go to my website, I've given those seven reasons, which is irrefutable, as far as I think that Naqab is not fard. And I, I being a debater, uh, the own debate with Sheikh Abu Masala, mashallah, Sheikh okay, Sheikh Alhamdulillah is going to get knowledge. Oh, okay. But what I do, that whatever reasoning the other group of scholars have given, I use that in my favor. Okay. And out of that, I think two reasoning with Sheikh Salah said, he said that uh, while in uh, uh, Ihram, in Umrah, or when you go for Hajj, it is a, a lady who is in Ihram, her face uh, should not be covered. So he said that normally, if it's not covered, so the contrary is fard, his reason, which I disagree. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, if it is haram to cover the face, it becomes fard, then many things which is haram should become fard otherwise. Mm -hmm. In which I can give hundred things, in which it is haram and is not fard otherwise. Okay. Many things. Okay. Many. You can, you can give umpteen number of things. What I say, many things which are moba and many things which are mustahab, they become haram. For example, shaving, for example, uh, 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 clipping the nails. It becomes haram during that state of haram. Many things. So many things which are mustahab become haram. There's not a single thing which is fard which becomes haram. If that's the case, offering salah is fard, then it becomes haram during normal life? No. Mm -hmm. So in logic, this itself defeats the purpose. He's basically answering logic. the third part. De therefore, therefore, <laughs> therefore, I'm saying, but this again, I never go my answer based on logic. Mm -hmm. But logic Allah has given that brain to me, mashallah. This is not the reason why it is not fard. But logic, Allah has given me the brain any logical thing I can counter argue. Mm -hmm. Therefore, logic is not number one in Islam. Number one is Quran, then it's Sayyid Hadith. Logic is third. So this is not the reason. But the reason what the other people are giving, most of the scholars who say that Naqab is fard is on logic. It is not on Sayyid Hadith. No. Because for anything to be fard, it should be either proven from the Quran or from the statement of the Prophet. Hadith if it's a derived thing, fine, there can be various derived things which also can be fard, but unless you have solid proof, you can't say anything is fard or haram. So most of the scholars who say, Naqab is fard, it, have, it is derived. And in derived, you can turn the table over. So if you say, therefore I say, that if Naqab, if showing the face is fard, mm -hmm. is fard, normal time, it cannot be haram. Okay. Is that Fine? Is That's that one point. Uh -huh. Second point, which I, I can go to every point. Why I say it is uh, not fard. Second, he says that beauty is in the face. I do agree with him, but not 100%. Mm. 90%? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you statistics. Again, this is not the reason. Mm. You can't give your logic because face is most beautiful, therefore face should be covered. This is our human logic. Allah's commandment is far superior to human logic. Because the most important part of face is the eyes. The eyes. Ah. And the eyes are seen. Eyes can be seen. Again, it's defeat knowledge. Again, just to tell you, according to the scientific research, when a man looks at a woman, 68% they first look at the bosom. It's the recent research that came. 68%? they initially look at the bosom, at the chest, not at the face. Fine? So that's the reason Allah says in the Quran that covered the veil over the bosom.
the mm. scientific research. Anyway, just because our logic says, I am not saying that is the reason Naqab is not Fard. The reason I gave is based on the Hadith of, of uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's a Hadith of uh, Abu Dawood in the uh, Book of Salah, that when a lady becomes her uh, richest puberty and she offers Salah, her complete body should be covered except the face and the handle of the wrist. And the same word, the same word that is used for the whale in Surah Noor, chapter number 24, Verse number 31 is used in the Hadith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same word. Okay. Uh, uh, you know? uh, yes. uh, okay. No okay. scholar today ever says that when you offer Salah, your face should be covered. No scholar that I know of. It's, okay. it's, it's right? not permissible to cover the face Sorry? of the Salah. It is not permissible to cover Correct. the face of the Salah. <laughs> so, so again, the uh, same word which is in Arabic in the Hadith of Abu Dawud, Sayyid Hadith of Salah, Salah, is used in the Quran. So Surah Nur chapter 24, verse number 31, the word Khimar does not mean covering the face. Okay. Again, going to Jilbab al-Hinna, it's the verse of uh, Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 55, yeah. that the Jilbab, when it says over, it can be done in various ways. Okay. It says close to the body, not on the face. So uh, based on Zakir. this, I agree more with the <laughs> argument. He's he a debate. <laughs> but the hadith is a weak hadith. <laughs> okay. hadith of okay. uh, hadith asma. Of? Uh, whenever a woman grows uh, oh, at the age uh, of puberty. That's classified Sahib by Salbani. Sheikh mm. Albani has classified it Sahib. All very fine. Okay. Inshallah. 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 We have a lot of time after the show. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are out of time. Anyway, I'm very different of me. I'm not sure. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakir, uh, for finding the time to be an ask with us.